Well, we are in Edinburgh and we are at Howie's 21st Century Kilts. This place is popular for designing modern kilts for various celebrities. They have designed kilts for Richard Branson, Vin Diesel, and today they're going to design one for me. Um, it's kind of a funny feeling to get a to get a kilt designed for yourself. Let's go and get it done. Saranj. Saranj, good to meet you. I'm Howie. Yeah, Howie. <laughs> good to see you. How are you? Well, now you all know who's the man. So I obviously introduced you before I entered in. Um, so Howie, it's a pleasure to pleasure. be here in Edinburgh. Uh, when we were planning the show, I was so excited about going to Scotland so I could wear a kit. Good. And so, whiskey. Yeah. <laughs> and and haggis. <laughs> There's so much to so be done. So much, hey. I know. I, there is no way that you can't fall in love with this country. Have you shot your own stag? Not really, no, not really. Well, that so could be on the cards as well. Have you ever worn a kilt before? No, no. Always just read about it, seen no, it in the movies. I mean, culturally, you know, I'm a big believer in what I do, but all men around the world wear, wear forms of skirt. So, you know, if we look into your culture in India. Whoa, okay. we, are, we, are, we are going to induce so, thingy. You know, we have what we call unbifurcated clothing. It means you are crotchless. Okay, so it is like a trouser thing going on. I, I am a big believer all men should have the option of being able to wear something different from trousers. So it could be a sarong, it could be shorts. But for men in Scotland, we have the kilt. Because I grew up in the industry and I have no family tartan, like let's say this is a McQueen tartan, like Alexander McQueen or Steve McQueen. So he has a whole suit. Whoa. In this. Designed to the same pattern. Yeah, yeah. Wow. So there are several different kilts that will fit you here. Normally I'm by appointment. Well, <laughs> I he, know, he I made know. an appointment. But, Let's go. Uh, <laughs> uh, what do you think goes for a chef like me? Well, for a chef, you want to keep your bits cool. Yeah, so, that's true. So hot, that we need to be. Like, say, as well in India, I, I do linen kilt. Do you, think, do you think, yeah, yeah. as. as I think we keep it nice and simple. We don't yeah. want, you know, we don't want it to like go all over the right. place. We, we, you know, I think we want to present Scotland as well as a very forward-thinking country. And sometimes, if I, you know, stick a a tourist, <laughs> a travelling person in a tartan, bright tartan kilt, you know, it's a bit short bread. And so this is where, you know, in a sort of kitchen environment, and you maybe weren't working but wanted to be well dressed and cool. These tweeds are gorgeous, you know. And if we look at say colorings like that, you know, mm. where a, a paler man might look a bit washed out, it brings out your colors really nicely. Yeah. There's a bit of red and purple in there. Could you want a bit of brightness? Okay. First thing I need to do is empty all your pockets. Okay then. I'm worse than security at an airport. <laughs> Even handkerchiefs Phone. and chains just lay it on the table. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Now feet together. And uh, looking straight forward, just relax. Now to show you the difference with what I do hmm. and what traditional kilts are like, so I go from the hip bone, okay? Now already, that's a good inch higher than what then you what already I'm wear. A traditional kilt goes oh. way up here, like well. a corset, you know? So like that's 29 and a half, whereas I measure to make hipster kilts. <laughs> hipster. And that's 32 and a half. So it's a good like three inches difference and a lot of difference in shaping. But this is much more comfortable. And then what we do, if you cross your arms for me, I'm going to measure your bum. I'm sure a lot of ladies back home are a bit jealous of me now. <laughs> I do ladies' kilts too. Oh, you do? Yeah, yeah. Ladies are more a pleasure to measure. Ah, obviously. Obviously. So like yeah. they're a pleasure to cook for. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, now the length measurement is most important. Like I say, from the hip bone, but to the top of the kneecap. Perfect. Allows you to wear the kilt on the hip and kind of formal to the top of the knee but most people want to loosen and wear it lower, like a pair of jeans. But if you try and loosen and lower a traditional kilt, it comes down to here. Which is not It cool. becomes really long. Not so cool. Okay, trousers off and shoes off, and I'll be back in two sets. Bye. 
Okay, there we go. Aha! Uh -huh. Well, tell me I look awesome. Sexy. What is it? Natural. Hot. Brilliant. So, we have your telephone is yes. safest here, face in. Okay, that needs to be fixed, but don't yeah, worry, that's okay. it's not going to fall off. Yeah. And then turn around again. And in your back pocket here, you have your wallet. So, uh, the wallet is here, the yeah. phone is here. And then you have a spare pocket here. For any. Yeah, like keys and things like that. That's so cool. If I had to wear this with some colour, what colour would you suggest? Well, what I would suggest actually, mm. let's do a bit of styling yeah. on you, is take yeah. your sweater off for me. Oh. We had the private dining room. Uh, it was 12, 11 of us. Very special. Oh, so you just... just yeah, just nice and casual. Well. It's a new, new modern way to wear a kilt. That's it doesn't have to be shiny buttons and dead animals and... Yeah, and this is, I think, more classy. Yeah, really cool. Definitely really works good. for a chef. Definitely, definitely. Well, um, here we are. Howie has given me a new getup for Scotland. Yeah. And um, now all that's left is to bring some whiskey. Absolutely. Uh, taste some haggis. I make my own. Oh, whoa. It's got a vatted malt. So, how, we, how about we finish this off by doing cheers to each other. Cheers, cheers. to Scotland, Edinburgh and Howie. To life. To life. Cheers. Okay.